when students go to school, they get the academics, they get the books, they get to participate in sports, and they get to participate in school meals. So normally it's 6 a.m., but like I said, if it's a catering thing, I'm up at 3.30 in the morning uh, here by 4. Uh, my name is Mario Fiore. Uh, my title right now is uh, Cafeteria Manager 7. I'll get here, I'll open the kitchen up. Um, I'll take care of the, um, the deliveries that come early in the morning. We have two people that usually uh, will grab the uh, food for the next day, right away when they come in, like around 7. And then they'll prep a little, they'll, they'll pan the food a little bit, and then they'll start cooking the lunch. So my name is Florence Simpson. I've been recently promoted to a deputy director. For LA Unified now and for California, all, all students eat at no charge. So that has helped reduce the stigmatism a little bit with, okay, you're a free lunch kid or, you know, you don't, I have to pay or so. How often do you guys take advantage of the free lunch? Um, every day, yeah, almost every day, every day, mm -hmm. breakfast and lunch. Do you guys have a favorite thing? Um, I, I think, think it's the pizza. Too. For food, I think it's the pizza. The pizza? Mm -hmm. It's either the, yeah. the pizza or the, the chicken tenders, the spicy ones. Oh, the chicken tenders. Oh, the spicy ones, really I like those. Usually they start lunch around 9 o'clock. We have to cook everything in, in, in batches because we don't have enough ovens. And then so in the, from 10 to, I'd say, 11.30, everybody's panning the whole time. So we do the hamburgers first, we get those going, we get the fries going, then we get pizza going, we get the, the chicken nuggets for the vegan menu today. So it's constantly batch, batch, batch. We serve about, I'd say, 1,500 a day or more. Uh, that includes breakfast, lunch, and supper. When you talk about creating an item for LA Unified, you're talking about something that could potentially be 300,000 servings for one day. It, it gets really complicated. And that's where the nutrition specialists have to do a great job of trying to make a menu that really the students are going to want and take and eat. Basically, we're responsible for the menu for our over 650 schools high schools, elementary, middle schools. My name is Ivy Marks. I'm the Senior Nutrition Specialist and I've been with the Food Services Division for about six years. You have your fruit, you have vegetable, grains, protein, and then your milk. And they have to be offered in specific amounts in order to be um, considered reimbursable. We offer the five different components, but students are only required to take three and one has to be a fruit or a vegetable. And at the very end, we call that the point of service. And the person there is checking the student's name, um, they'll uh, log it in the system, the student got a meal, but at the same time, they're looking at the meal to make sure there are three components and at least one is a fruit or a vegetable. Just look at the, um, the tray as they go by, and I'll just like, hey, you know, only one juice. Hey, you're gonna need a juice or a fruit today. From the beginning of our freshman year till now, the food has changed and it's gotten a lot better than what it once was. In the beginning, it was just simple sandwiches, simple things, but now it's a lot better and more, yeah. like overall, like more options. Yeah, and yeah. I agree with that. And the do you think that's because of uh, feedback from the students? Yeah. yeah. Everything that we put on the menu has to have a 75, 80% rating of student acceptability. And if it doesn't pass, won't be considered for the menu. So we will only consider those items that um, students approve of. Every day we have a salad option on the menu. Um, it comes separated, so we get bags of lettuce shredded already. We weigh out the chicken, croutons, and the Parmesan cheese. When we finally get it right in a small batch, that's when we use managers like Mario and we'll come to his school and we'll prepare a large batch and try it out for his school. We're doing smoothies that we also come separated. So we get the yogurt, we get frozen fruit, we'll blend those together with this big, um, oh, it's not here, it's over there. Oh, right here, with this immersion blender right here. Everybody's having fun with that machine. We'll add granola, we'll um, use strawberry yogurt and garnish it with strawberries too. 
So we'll go from making a batch of say 30 or 50 to coming here and having him produce it for 500, 800 students. Once that recipe, we know that recipe works and it can be executed in the kitchen, that's when we look at putting it into the menu cycle. I feel like they input it like they change their options, they provide more fruit, yeah. they provide different types of drinks and milk and different percentages of milk. Yeah. Mm -hmm as well for people who don't eat meat or chicken. Or yeah. Our philosophy is if you give more options, most students, we hope every student will find something to eat. Um, but it's not, not just about options, we want to make sure that they like what, what we're offering. If we want to have this transfer of nutrition into performance, we have to support that. Um, because it's not just their academics. People forget about the fact that we're training their kids how to eat um, or we're reinforcing what they're training them at home. That's going to lead to healthy outcomes. I play a sport. I don't get to go home until around 6 o'clock. So from like morning breakfast to when I go home, I need to eat something in the middle to play my practices or just to get, get to the school day. So the school lunch does really help. We love talking to people about this because people don't really understand school food. And I think when they start to understand school food, that's when they can really help support us because it shouldn't just be California that has this, it should be all across the United States. But I think it's very important having free food. I know many people are against it, but I think from seeing them, those kids eat and you know, their smiles on their faces afterwards and running around talking, you know, all the energy they get from all that food they eat and so. I think it's very important.